The story begins with Cecilia Cass awakening in the middle of the night, preparing to escape from her abusive boyfriend, Adrian Griffin. She uses diazepam to sedate him and carefully gathers her belongings, disabling alarms to avoid detection while monitoring Adrian through a camera on her phone. As she attempts to leave, she encounters Adrian's dog, Zeus, removes his shock collar, but unintentionally triggers a car alarm when Zeus bumps into a vehicle. With Adrian waking up, Cecilia flees his residence, dashing into the street where her sister Emily awaits in a car. Adrian pursues them, demanding Cecilia open the door and even resorting to smashing the car window before they speed away. In the aftermath, Adrian discovers the discarded diazepam bottle left behind by Cecilia. After two weeks, Cecilia has been residing with her childhood friend, Detective James Lanier, and his daughter Sydney. Overcome by fear that Adrian might locate her, Cecilia is reluctant to venture outside the house. Despite James's attempts to reassure her, Cecilia manages to make it to the mailbox but is startled by a jogger, whom she fears is Adrian, prompting her to retreat indoors. Emily pays a visit, much to Cecilia's unease, as she worries that Adrian may have followed Emily, discovering her location. During the visit, Emily reveals a news article reporting Adrian's apparent suicide. In a state of disbelief, Cecilia sits, grappling with the news. She opens up to Emily and James about the extent of Adrian's abusive and domineering behavior, recounting his desire for a child. Cecilia, aware that having a baby would further trap her, confesses to discreetly taking birth control without Adrian's knowledge. Cecilia and Emily have a meeting with Tom, Adrian's brother and lawyer. During the meeting, Tom presents them with Adrian's will, revealing a bequest of a $5 million fortune to Cecilia. However, the inheritance comes with the condition that Cecilia must demonstrate mental competence and refrain from engaging in criminal activities. In response to this revelation, Cecilia expresses her gratitude by giving James a new ladder and setting up an account for Sydney's college tuition. Both James and Sydney are profoundly appreciative of Cecilia's generosity. During the night, Cecilia experiences an unsettling feeling as if another presence is in the room with her. Concerned, she leaves the room to search for James and Sydney, only to find them absent. Stepping outside into the cold, she senses the presence of someone, revealed by the visible breath beside her. Come morning, Cecilia prepares breakfast for James and Sydney. However, while her back is turned, an unseen force causes a knife to fall from the counter and subsequently increases the heat on the stove, resulting in a small fire that Sydney promptly extinguishes. Later that night, Cecilia is asleep in bed with Sydney when an unseen force pulls the covers off them and silently captures photographs of the two. Awaking, Cecilia attempts to retrieve the cover but notices what appear to be footprints standing on the fabric. Gradually advancing toward her, she senses a push and urgently calls for James. Yeah! Despite her insistence that someone is in the room, James and Sydney observe no one else present. Subsequently, Cecilia attends a job interview at an architectural firm. However, when she attempts to showcase her work, she discovers that her bag has been entirely emptied. Overwhelmed by a sense of panic, she experiences a minor panic attack and eventually faints. Afterward, Cecilia undergoes blood work and is informed of elevated levels of diazepam in her system. To her horror, she stumbles upon the bottle she had dropped in James's bathroom, now bearing Adrian's bloody fingerprints. Cecilia and James confront Tom, showing him the bottle with Cecilia asserting that Adrian is fulfilling his earlier threat to track her down and leave a sign. Convinced that Adrian, a renowned figure in optics, has devised a means to become invisible, Cecilia expresses her belief. Tom, however, dismisses this notion, citing an urn containing Adrian's ashes and presenting crime scene photos confirming Adrian's apparent suicide by wrist slashing. Subsequently, Cecilia pays a visit to Emily, who greets her with displeasure after receiving an email from Cecilia's account. Despite Cecilia's insistence that she didn't compose the email, Emily remains unconvinced by her claims of Adrian's involvement and dismisses her. 
Upon returning home, Cecilia reads the email, discovering that someone, possibly Adrian, composed a harsh message to Emily, falsely portraying Cecilia as wanting to sever ties and expressing a desire for Emily's demise instead of Adrian's. Sydney discovers Cecilia in tears over the upsetting email. When Sydney offers her support, an unseen force strikes Sydney in the face, leading her to mistakenly believe that Cecilia hit her. James intervenes, taking Sydney away despite Cecilia's pleas and assertions of innocence. Alone, Cecilia challenges Adrian to reveal himself, strategically spilling coffee grounds on the floor while waiting in the bedroom. Upon hearing Adrian's cell phone ringing in the attic, she discovers it along with a message saying, surprise, from an unknown number. Suspecting the invisible man's presence, Cecilia spills paint on him for identification. Returning downstairs, she finds the kitchen sink running, indicating that he washed off the paint. Armed with a knife, Cecilia is attacked by the invisible man, who chokes and throws her across the room. Despite a fierce struggle, she manages to break free and escape the house. Cecilia summons an Uber and travels to Adrian's house. Once inside, she ventures into the basement and discovers a device and suit equipped with cameras, capable of rendering a person invisible, clarifying how Adrian has been tormenting her. While attempting to leave with the suit, she takes cover in a closet and notices a set of invisible footprints. Reacting swiftly, Cecilia pushes the invisible man aside and rushes back to the waiting car. Cecilia sets up a meeting with Emily at a restaurant to share her discoveries about Adrian. However, during their conversation, a knife hovers between them. The invisible man slashes Emily's throat, placing the bloodied weapon in Cecilia's shocked hand. As other diners witness Emily's lifeless body and Cecilia with the murder weapon, panic ensues. The police arrive swiftly, leading to Cecilia's immediate arrest. In a state of distress, she is forcefully taken to a psychiatric ward, vehemently insisting that Adrian killed Emily. Strapped down and sedated, Cecilia becomes certain of Adrian's presence in the room when she hears a taunting voice whispering, surprise. Cecilia undergoes testing and questioning in connection with Emily's alleged murder. Despite her attempts to clarify the situation, she is apprehensive, suspecting that Adrian might be secretly listening in on their conversations. To add to the complexity, the doctors disclose that Cecilia is expecting a child. During a visit from Tom, he proposes a deal. Either she shares her inheritance with him, or she returns to Adrian with the baby. Tom reveals his knowledge of Adrian being alive and aware of Cecilia's contraceptive actions, swapping it with something else. In response, Cecilia topples Tom's belongings off the table, providing her with the opportunity to secure one of his quill pens and a piece of adhesive material. Later, she overhears on the news that rain is expected in a few days. In the midst of a heavy downpour, Cecilia seizes the opportunity she's been waiting for, retrieving the concealed pen. Turning on the shower, she vocalizes her determination not to let Adrian have the baby. As she begins cutting into her wrist with the pen, the invisible man suddenly grabs her. Reacting swiftly, Cecilia stabs him with the pen, causing the invisibility suit to malfunction. Seizing the moment, a guard enters, only to be tossed by the invisible man. As more guards arrive, a brutal confrontation ensues, with the invisible man mercilessly eliminating them. Cecilia manages to obtain a gun and heads outside in the rain, where she witnesses him incapacitating another guard. The two adversaries face off, and the invisible man threatens Sydney's life. Cecilia, undeterred, commandeers a car and contacts James, instructing him to return to the house. The invisible man descends, launching an assault on Sydney, while James intervenes, enduring a merciless beating. Cecilia rushes in, deploying a fire extinguisher to disorient the assailant before firing four shots, causing him to stagger and ultimately collapse lifeless. As she unveils the face behind the mask, it's revealed to be Tom, who had been wearing the invisibility suit. Simultaneously, a SWAT team storms Adrian's house, discovering him alive and seemingly abducted by Tom. 
Cecilia is exonerated as the police buy into the narrative that Adrian was manipulated by Tom in a personal scheme. Despite this, Cecilia remains aware of the actual truth, asserting that Adrian orchestrated the entire plan, including framing his own brother to shield himself. Subsequently, Cecilia contacts Adrian and arranges a meeting. Cecilia attends a dinner set up by Adrian at his house. Outside, James listens in, anticipating that Cecilia will coax Adrian into incriminating himself. Seated in clear view of a security camera, she confronts Adrian, informing him that he won't have custody of the baby. Adrian, employing his charm, attempts to appear benevolent. Cecilia excuses herself to the bathroom, and moments later, the knife in Adrian's hand rises, slashing his own throat. Returning, Cecilia feigns tears for the camera, but it becomes evident she used Adrian's own suit to turn the tables on him. James rushes in, discovering the suit in Cecilia's bag. Despite the evidence, she insists that Adrian committed suicide, leaving James seemingly compelled to accept the narrative. Cecilia departs with Zeus, finally liberated from her tormentor.